two Moonies, same model, neck and neck on paper, but he's flying a classic two-blade Macaulay, and I'm bringing my three-blade Hartzell to the fight. What's up? <laughs> Before we bolt on Hartzell's brand new outlaw prop, we're putting both Rangers to the test. Same day, same sky, let's see who wins. So, the reason why we're doing this is because I'm going to be putting on the Mooney Outlaw, the new composite prop by Hartzell. They just got it, it's just coming out. It's so, will the lighter weight be worth the cost? Will it make me cruise faster? Will it make me climb better? We'll see. Let's put it to the test. I was thinking we'd get to a specific altitude. They each at 35 meters. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then do a climb at VY. Yeah. And just see, okay, VY climb where you, you know. Yeah. Down to 65 and then uh, do a climb at uh, 110. Yeah, that's good. All right, yeah, so we are about to do a climb test from 6,500 here up to 7,500 when Ben gets all locked in here. All right, there we are. All right, so we will even ourselves out here. They don't have extra momentum. Let's <laughs> go back. It gets more power. Let's see, we'll make it so neither one of us is pulling ahead. It looks pretty good to me, what do you think? Yeah, it's good. Alright, go on three. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, one, two, three, climb! Climb! It all kind of depends on our speed. We're trying to hit 110 miles per hour. To see what kind of climb weight we, rate we get. I'm getting about 500 feet per minute here. Seems pretty comparable. Yeah, we're pretty even. All right, call out when you get there. 7,400 now. Yeah, 75. Yeah, well, you're pretty neck and neck, I think, to 75. I think I got there just a little before you did, but not much. Yeah, it was pretty dang close. All right, so yeah, pretty comparable. Yeah, I might have been able to outclimb him a little bit, but pretty much the same. So we'll have to see what the outlaw does. Either way, I mean, that's, that's pretty dang close. I mean, isn't the three blades supposed to necessarily and it's kind of known to have like a, a better climb performance? Or is it supposed to be pretty similar, just mixed smoother? I think it's supposed to be a little bit better. I'm almost positive it's supposed to be a little bit better climb performance, and then it's slower in uh, cruise. I mean, when we were cruising there, we were doing almost the exact same speed too, so... Yeah. I would be willing to bet that it is significantly smoother for you than the... Yeah, that would be an interesting thing. Let's see if my, I downloaded all those decimal apps. Let's see if it does anything. Yeah, this is showing uh, max one, two, three. That sounds about right for a cabin. With the climb behind us, it's time to see who holds the edge in cruise. Yeah, I'm at 2450 and 23, three-ish, 23. It's bouncing a little bit. I'm showing 135 knot ground and uh, 157. A mile per hour tourist. Yeah, I've got 136 over the ground and 162 at tree Yeah, I'm 24, 3, 25. What do you see in ground speed wise? Uh, 149 ground, 169 true. Okay, I'm seeing 151 and 175 true. So, very negligible. Pay about the same. Yeah, and you could be pitching up or I could be pitching down or whatever, either way, so. I might be a little faster to get to the up to the altitude, but you're you're a little quicker. Yeah, I think the same. 
And who knows, that, that might pay off after failing it on a long cross country. Yeah, if you just get, I mean, it probably is. Again, it's like it's like even someone going 160 knots and we're doing 140, they might only get there like five minutes if that quick before us. Right, yeah. I'm a fr- switch frequencies and uh, I'll hit you up now we're on the ground. All right, sounds good. All right, so we made it back to the hangar here. Ben just parks, he parks on the north side, so we kind of split off and it was quite awesome that the tower just let me go on my side of the airport and let him go on his other side of the airport. Straight to downwind, so that worked out awesome. So yeah, pretty comparable speeds there. So I guess, honestly, you know, I'm supposed to lose some knots and cruise for the third blade, and so I'm happy that I don't. It's actually nice that the three blade performs like the two blade because theoretically the two blade less drag um, goes through the air a little bit nicer and the three blade is supposed to climb a little bit better and I'd say it does a little bit so we'll see how the outlaw performs all right now that we've completed this first test we'll move on and fly to Ohio on our way to Oshkosh